Namaste and welcome to Sonali Joshi's Astrology channel. In this video, I am going to share answers of the questions that are number one, what is Mahadasha of a planet? Number two, how does it matter which planet is governing the Mahadasha in your horoscope? Number three, what are the other times when this planet will be still active? So if you are looking for answers to these questions, you are at the right place. Those of you who are new to astrology, there are nine planets and they govern different time frames in our lifetime. If you are talking about the Vishamottari Dasha, the Nakshatra Lord of your moon, for example, if your moon is placed in the Rashi of Sagittarius and it is placed in the nakshatra of Mool nakshatra. Then this native will start the nakshatra of Ketu because Mool nakshatra is owned by Ketu as soon as he or she is born. And then there are nakshatras other than Moon. But the main thing will start with Ketu because your Moon is placed in the nakshatra of planet Ketu. And then you will have other time frames. In the first time frame, Ketu will have a lot of say. Ketu will decide your life experiences, your emotional experiences and the outcome that you get. Same way if somebody is born in the nakshatra of Sun, they will start the Mahadasha of Sun first. When any planet becomes the Mahadasha ruler, it means it is the planet that is going to decide outcome in that particular time frame. It is like that planet comes into your Lagna now. As if it is in your Lagna first house of horoscope and then you define the rest of the horoscope. If this planet is conjunct with some other planets, then those planets will act also be active. And the scheme is given for a reason. There is a main planet which is going to direct you towards your pending karma, towards your fulfillment in life and in that main time frame that is known as Mahadasha, there are other eight planets which will have their Antardashas. So every planet has a say depending on what is the relation with that main planet. If those two planets have good results, good relationships, then that time frame known as Antardasha will be good. Same way if those two planets have six or eight relationship in your horoscope, they are not mutually agreeable to each other, then your experiences will be little difficult. Another thing, if that main Maharasha planet is conjunct with other planets, depending on how is the relation with those two planets or one planet that is conjunct, the outcome will always differ. But who has the final say? The person who is driving the car, the person who owns the time frame, that is the Maharasha Lord. So, if the Maharasha Lord is Sun, your life will be projected towards securing identity, having social acceptance, having recognition, name, fame, towards how, what your father has done in life, towards duties to the government and anything that you define as your self-value and self-respect. If you are running the Maharasha of Jupiter, Jupiter's job is to give you wisdom higher wisdom, higher knowledge, understanding that your duty towards masses in the society. Jupiter may govern certain houses in your horoscope, but during Jupiter Mahadasha, every planet will work with or against the Jupiter to give you the results depending on what do you want to learn, what do you want to accomplish, what do you want to do for the society, how do you want to serve the masses? And depending on the relations with other planets of Jupiter and other planets, for example, Jupiter Rahu, it will be a mixed experience. Jupiter Mars, it will be a forceful experience in that category. Jupiter Sun, it will be enlightening experience in that situation. Jupiter Ketu, you are learning the higher dharma in that situation. This is how Jupiter will change the flavor of the results 
in the antardasha of various planets if jupiter rules malefic houses like 6 8th then all those experiences will be little difficult for you because jupiter's main intention is to make you understand through your karma and that is a little difficult karma if jupiter owns the benefic houses like 5th house 9th house or your lagna then outcome will be definitely better if jupiter is conjunct with planet like mercury then if it is in the same nakshatra or depending on how far they are the flavor will change but mercury will work with jupiter to give you knowledge make you learn make you serve the society make sure you give knowledge to the masses give resources to the masses if somebody is running the maharasha of moon moon is about your feelings your happiness it is about the all the emotional baggage you are bringing from past life and past lives it is about your desires depending on which house moon rules moon will try to work with other planets to give you what it is supposed to give you fulfill your desires are depending on different ways with jupiter desires will be fulfilled with giving you knowledge with ketu jupiter desires will be fulfilled by making you learn detachment if moon is conjunct with saturn you will learn about negativity learn about negative feelings learn about certain hardships and this is how the maharasha lord will always define your experience in that time frame every planet has a decided number of years of the maharasha and the antardasha time frame is also already pre decided always the moon nakshatra is important hence the moon nakshatra lord is also important it is the beginning of your life and that decides why you are here what kind of experiences you are going to get somebody is born in the maharasha of venus they are here for relationships understanding importance of relationships understanding importance of luxuries happiness and obviously it will come through relationships food learning and medical cure every planet has a karakatwa and that is what will be given to you delivered to you depending on your punya past life karma in this life frame one thing remains constant the good deeds that you do now the good deeds that your ancestors have done they will be always helpful to you if you are already a parent remember before doing any bad karma that outcome will be given to your kids if you do not have kids or do not want to have kids understand whatever you create your legacy will also suffer the same way or get rewarded the same way and hence it is suggested that before beginning the maharasha of any planet the previous maharasha last antardasha will give you a test of what is going to come that is the time frame where you learn change your habits and get into the right mindset about getting the most from the coming maharasha for example in the rahu maharasha last time frame you will realize well you should have learned something you should have done something for the masses you should not have done any um distinguishing or rather separation kind of behaviors when dealing with people you should have treated everybody equally because this is the higher knowledge jupiter wants to give you rahu tried to take your energy towards something that made you realize well i the shortcuts are of no use greediness is of no use sometimes fame is also short lived every person has different lessons to learn and different outcomes to go through they are very individual and hence individual horoscopes are to be seen and valued but planets are here to give 
their portfolio and it is usually the same for everyone the flavor changes depending on nakshatra placement house placement and the conjunctions and aspects what are the remedies for this the best remedy that you can do is remedy of moon because it will change your outlook towards how you perceive things what kind of desires you have what type of ways you choose and the best remedy for moon is donate food donate water and help someone emotionally support somebody emotionally you can always do regular donations to hospitals orphanages and schools on purnima amavasya and sankranti you can also donate to temples and when they say donate to temples donation is in time of cap you can also go and volunteer actual spending time helping people goes long way but if you cannot do time wise at least support by donating some money and food hope this video explains how the mahadasha comes what it rules what are the outcomes and what are the changes that you can do what are the remedies you can do to get the best results from any mahadasha you can always worship the bija mantra of mahadasha lord you can always pray to the deity you can always support people with the karakatwa related functions of that mahadasha lord for more questions follow this channel watch the next video subscribe to this channel and share this with video with someone who wants to know more about astrology you can send an email to i am sonali joshi at gmail.com with your questions queries and i'll be more than happy to get back to you thank you for understanding because there is a lot of wait time due to previous readings that i am working with thank you namaste shubham astu